Hey folks, it's Grimwit from Natch Evil, and we're going to play a game of this and see how it works. Now, um, we are playing Talisman, the prologue, the solo edition. This is pure solo play. And uh, if you don't know what Talisman is, then you're probably not big into board games. Talisman is a very old board game that has a lot of additions and characters and all kinds of crazy stuff. So let me outline real quick what this is. You pick a character, you pick a quest, usually the quests are the magical quest, which is the main big one. Um, nah, I'm not going to get into it now because we don't really need to know about that particular quest. Um, the solo version is different. <sighs> What you do in the solo version is you go through these other smaller quests. As you can see, I've already done the Troll and the Warrior. And you, uh, you try to complete their questness. Uh, like, for example, this druid. Uh, for the druid training, your goal is to go to the chapel, the graveyard, and then the woods. You are on pilgrimage. Uh, each of the characters has a strength value, which is how good they are in combat, a craft value, which is how smart, smart and crafty they are, a fate value, which is how many times they can reroll combat dice, I think there are other uses for fate, gold, which is gold, and lives, which is exactly what it sounds like. Yes, this game has a lives system, not hit points, it's, it's how many lives you have. Feel like you're playing Ghosts and Goblins? Yeah. Uh, they also have um, incomparables, I think they're called. They all have special traits about them. Like the druid begins with one spell. Uh, the troll, which is my favorite because he's very simple-minded. Um, every time you roll a die, instead of moving, you can uh, regenerate your health, etc. Et we are going to play the troll, by the way, because I only have one little talisman option here and I want more I want more now something confuses me this is I have a total score of five one two three what what I mean we've played I've played this quest twice once with two and once with three but how does that even Huh. I'm, I'm going to call that a glitch. In any case, Troll. Um, this is a very short game, the Trolls game. Basically, uh, first off, in the crags, I don't need to roll a die. Awesome. Uh, I can, but I must accept the results. In the crags, you don't want to roll a die. There's no good reason for rolling dice in the crags. We'll get to that when we get to that, though. Whenever you roll a 6 on your move, you may regenerate instead of moving. If you choose to regenerate, you will heal one life and end your turn. The number of turns determines your score. The lower number of turns you have, the higher your score will be. It's kind of like playing golf. Uh, our goal is to use the healing ability to your advantage and win a battle against the mighty Sentinel. Uh, the Sentinel is fairly mighty. He has a strength of 9, we have a strength of 6. So we're going to have to build up our strength, otherwise he's going to have quite the advantage. We'll get to combat when it comes time. Uh, goal, learn the power of healing, then beat the Sentinel. Well, we don't have to learn the power of healing, we already have it. Tip, use the special ability button. This is not a tip, that's instructions. Eh, anyway. Uh, as far as I've seen, this is the shortest quest. So we're going to do this as a test, and then, well, we'll get to that in the ending. I'm going to be honest with you people. I'm doing this just to kind of placate, stall, while I'm still working on uh, High School Friends, or High School Dreams. We are going to finish High School Dreams, though. All right, uh, your quest begins. Heal yourself using a special ability. Well, first we need to take damage. Um, what options do we got? We are a neutral creature. Based on alignment, if you are neutral, replenish fate up to your fate value now at the cost of one gold each. If you are evil, eh, I don't like the graveyard. 
What's this one over here? Hills. Draw one card. If a draw... Do not draw a card if there's already one in the space. Uh, cards stay on spaces for the most part. Now, normally, we could just start right off and go up against the Sentinel. Hmm. Curse Glades. Draw one card. Wait. Strength and craft derived from objects and magical objects do not count on this space, nor may you use magical objects or cast spells. Huh. What's this one? Hidden Valley. I hear they have great ranch there. Draw three. Holy shit, draw three cards. You, you guys don't know. Drawing three cards is risky. Because you, you, know, you could go up against three monsters and lose three lives. If there are any cards already in the space, yeah, that's fine. Um... No, no, I'm not going to go up against the Sentinel. Let's just do one card at the hills. Draw one card. Let's move here and draw one of these adventure cards. Pestilence! Event! Pestilence has befallen this region. You must lose one life. The Pestilence then vanishes. That's no big deal. We have six lives. Oh, that was nice. Almost reminds me of the Rape Horn. Um, I probably shouldn't have said that out loud. Anyway, let's roll again. Six! Awesome! That's exactly what I needed. This is our special ability, the screen button here, and it basically uses our only a special ability, which is to regenerate one life. Uh, we now have five lives, and let's regenerate to six lives. Yay! Defeat the Sentinel. Okay. Now here's the deal with the Sentinel. Whenever you land on this space, you draw one card. If the card is already in this space, blah, blah, blah. Basically, you, if there's a card there you don't draw a card. If there isn't a card there, you draw up to however many cards it says to draw. This is simple stuff. If you are crossing to the middle region, which you have to sometimes, do not draw a card. Instead, you must first defeat the Sentinel with a strength of nine. He's a badass. I hate him. Do not fight the Sentinel when crossing to the middle range. Or, no, if... Uh, when crossing from the middle range. <sighs> Let's roll a die. We need weapons. We need weapons or we need battles. One of the two. Let's go to the fields where we can draw a card. Shrine. Let's see. This shrine will remain here for the rest of the game. Roll a die. Either ignored, gain a fate, gain a gold, gain a spell, gain a life, or teleport, teleport to any space. Ooh. Let's go ahead and do that. Gain one fate. Boom! We now have two fates. That'll be useful in certain combats. Let's head over towards... What is that, a town? Draw one card. We will draw a card. Here we are. It's a bear! A ferocious bear is running amok in this area. It will remain here until it is killed. Let's kill a bear. Alright, here's how this goes. I have a strength, I roll one die, add that to my strength, and that's my total battle score. He has a strength of three, he rolls one die, adds that to his strength, and that's his battle score. If I beat him, he dies and he goes into my trophies. If he beats me, I lose a life and stay where I am. If it's a tie, nothing happens. It's just a standoff. And I leave and he stays. Alright, let's do this. I got an attack score of ten. And he only got one of nine. Your bested bear. Okay. Trophies. What you can do with trophies is when you gather up enough of them and you add their strength scores together, for every seven you add together, you gain one strength. Or is it one craft? Maybe it's both. No, I think I think it's just pure strength. You add that that's how you level up in this game. Alright. Still, that's good. Good news. What's here? Now we can go to the fields again and take a look at the fountain. We would not draw a card there. I think I've gone over that enough times. Hey, Queenie! My, my wife is scratching at the door. And uh, we can go to the woods. Well, I'm up for combat, so let's go to the woods. Ooh, gold! Somebody just left this gold! 
even a stupid troll like this knows that he needs he needs some gold. He just sees it lying on the ground. <laughs> I love you. Where was I? Um, let's roll a die. All right. We can go to the village, where actually they accept trolls as equals, because this is a village of all kinds of crazy people. Now with them, we can visit the blacksmith. We have two gold, so we might be able to get a sword. I'd like an axe, but a sword would be just as good. Or we can go to the chapel, which is based on alignment. If you are neutral, you may heal up to your... No. No, we don't need healing. We're a troll. Trolls don't need healing. So let's go to the, the town. Check out the winches. Maybe get some cider at the winch house. All right. Armor is really awesome, but I don't want armor. Axes are really cool because you can use them to cut to make rafts whenever you're in the woods and therefore bypass the sentinel. But I don't want to bypass the sentinel. And sword. Add one strength during battle. Awesome. We will do this. Buy a sword. So now we are a troll with a sword. Me no, me no know how to add, but me know how to use sword. Am I a troll or Native American? Here we go. Three. All right. We can go to the woods or we can go to the plains. We'll go to the woods, because we want to be close to that sentinel. Draw a card. Damn you, maze! The maze will remain here for the rest of the game. Whenever you land here, if your craft is less than five, being a one, it is, you must miss one turn. Son of a biatch! And it's just turning. I'm trying to lower the number of turns that I take. Uh, here was a three. We can go to the chapel again, which screw the chapel. Or we can go straight back to town, which I don't need. Or we can go to Hidden Valley. Actually, let's try to go to Hidden Valley and go up against the Sentinel for the first time. There we go. We must first face the Sentinel. All right. Strength 6 plus 1, which is 7. Strength 9. He's got the upper hand, but only by 2 points. Now, I've gone up against this guy enough times to know that 2 points is... everything. Like, for example, if I roll a 6, that's a 13. That would be a score 13. So, with a 9, all he'd have to roll to match me is, let's see, 14, or 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, is a 4. A 4, 5, or 6. That gives him a half chance of beating me at my best. Let's do it. I got an 11. He got a 6. Son of a bitch, it's a 15. All right. Well, that's a no. And I lose a life. I'm really not worried about losing lives. Let's try again. Um, what's over here? In the crags. All right, this is what I was talking about. Now, the troll has a special ability. He does not need to roll on the crags, because he just that's his home and stuff. He knows how to handle the crags. Normally, you do have to do this. You have to roll a die, and you either are attacked by spirits, which is, requires a craft of four. Uh, I'm glad I don't have to do that. You can be lost for a turn. Well, I'm, it's my home. I'm, I'm not lost. You can be safe. No effect. Well, I'm, I'm pretty much safe anyway. Or a barbarian leads you out and you gain a strength. Mm, one in six chance that something nice happens. I don't think I'll roll. What else do we got? Oh. Village. I don't really need to go to the village. Let's head to the crags. And nothing happens. You do not need to roll a die in the crags unless you wish to. Blah, 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 blah. Right. A six. Let's see here. We can head to the graveyard. Never a good idea. We can heal up. I'm not worried about healing just now. I have five lives. Or we can head over to the hills and draw a card. I like that idea. I want to get into a battle. Potion of strength. Oh! <gasps> When you drink this potion, it will increase your strength by two until the end of the turn. Yes. Y-E-S. Yes. 
That puts me on equal footing with the Sentinel. To the Sentinel! All right, let's see here. That's the long way around. We want to head to the Sentinel. Fields? Sure, we'll go to the fields. A wolf. This vicious wolf now dwells in this area and will remain until blah, 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 blah. Well, we must kill the wolf with our heavy sword. I like to imagine he's, this troll is using that big buster sword that uh, Guts uses on Berserk. You know, Berserk, the really violent manga and anime. Eh, you people are uncultured swines. Ah, uh, you're doomed. There's nothing you can roll. Now, alas, that is not enough to build up my strength. Ah, three, four, five. I need a strength of two, monster. I really need to get into another battle. Well, speak of the devil. The devil, you say. The devil. The devil. <laughs> it could not get any better. Oh, right, this is a magical bo uh, belt. It just adds one to our strength just adds one to our strength. I think we're just about ready. We now have the upper hand over the Sentinel. Six plus two plus that uh, that potion will be another two, so that's six plus four. That's ten, and that'll put us uh, one point above the Sentinel. Let's keep going. Oh yeah, it's the crags. We, we know the crags. There we go. Just kick back in the crags. Get to our house. It's nice. It's a lovely little swamp. Uh, all right, you know what? I could go here and get lost in the woods, and that sounds like a lot of fun, but uh, I'm not going to. We could re-roll, but we're not going to. Now, what I don't look like is you can't re-roll against the Sentinel. I, I have fate. Why can't I use it? All right, this is where we're going because we want to fight the Sentinel. Come on. All right, before we get started, we're going to grab this object. Yes. We now have a strength of 10, effectively. You better roll low. Okay, okay that's a 13. We can... We can... Mm, damn it! Why is it giving me the option to re-roll? All right, fuck it. Let's do it. Ha ha! I have won against the Sentinel! Which means, of course, that my quest is complete. Two? Th Fifteen turns for two? Uh, I actually wish I knew how many turns it would take to get these scores. If anybody knows where I can find that information, leave me a comment. And speaking of comments, the warrior... A fighter class. The troll. Stupidest of the stupid. The druid. Hippie. The wizard. Smart hippie. The monk. No, this is the smart hippie. The wizard would be like, I don't know, wanting to rule the world. Megalomaniac. I love it. The assassin. Stabby, stabby. Actually, he's, he's pretty average all around, but he has a nice little ability where... Victims may not roll a die. Oh, so sweet. The elf. It's just... What do we got so many hippies here? The dwarf. We all love dwarfs. The priest. Will convert everyone or die. And the prophetess, which is actually my favorite class because she's really kind of overpowered. I mean, look at this. Begins with one spell. During the game, you always have at least one spell. Gain a spell each time you cast your last spell. Whenever you have to draw an adventure card, you may discard one of your choices that you do not wish to encounter and draw one more card to replace it, which you must encounter. The prophetess friggin' overpowered. And we are not going to do the magical quest for any of these characters... The Prophetess, the Priest, the Dwarf, the Elf, the Assassin, the Monk, the Wizard, the Druid, the Troll, or the Warrior. We will go on down the line. We'll do whatever the second quest is. Leave a comment on what you want to see next. I'm going to do three of these to begin with and see how they play out. Only three. 
We're not going to do the whole game because there is tons of game to do. We're not going to do that. Guys, leave a comment with your vote of who you want. And uh, hopefully when I see you next time, the uh, high school dreams. Yeah.